Hi, welcome back. With all the new projects that I've been working on, I thought it was a good idea to upgrade my CNC table to an extruded aluminum table for extra rigidity and square cuts. If you're interested in the related topics or projects, go ahead and check out my channel for more content. I do want to make a quick note. There are still 77% of you guys watching who still haven't subscribed yet. So what are you waiting for? I would greatly appreciate it and it's only going to help this channel grow. And now let me show you how I put this together. So I have a Shapefoco 3 XXL CNC machine. It came with MDF spoiler boards. Now I just have to unbolt the screws in order to remove the spoiler board. Originally, the spoiler boards bolted through the steel panels. Here, I'm just screwing the bolts back in to screw them in place. I did a lot of researching and I came across this being the best replacement method for the Shapeoko. It was using a two-part assembly using Misumi flat aluminum extrusions and the open build V-slot linear rails. The dimensions of the linear rail was 20 by 20 millimeters and 1000 millimeters in length, which used M5 T-slot nuts. The dimensions of the flat aluminum extrusions were 250 millimeters by 1000 millimeters in length. Converted into inches, that would make it 9 and 7 eighths by 39 and 3 eighths. To complete this assembly, I needed four linear rails and four flat aluminum extrusions. And if you were to square this all up, it would fit perfectly within the frame. The linear rail would act as a bracket for the flat aluminum extrusion. Here, I'm marking the distance from the frame so I can bolt down the linear rails to the frame. In order to consistently square the linear rail, I needed to make sure the T-slots were marked. Then I can bolt the screws to evenly divide the structural integrity. Since I already marked the one, here I'm using a square to mark the other three. It helps to use one drill bit size bigger than your screw so you have at least half a millimeter or a millimeter of play on each side.
After a little bit of thought, it's better to assemble the table before installing it into the CNC machine. I cut scraps to divide them between each linear rail. And I use a square block to make a margin to square up the edge. The Misumi flat aluminum extrusion consists of a staggered top and bottom, an M5 T-slot on one side and an M6 T-slot on the other side. Since the linear reel is M5 T-slot, I'm going to be using the M5 side for the flat aluminum extrusion. And to bolt this together, I'm using an M5 screw with a 30mm length. For clearance, I needed to double up a nut and washer so I can bottom out the screws without hitting the aluminum extrusions. I needed to carefully lay down the table, so I used a piece of scrap to help guide me through the frame. To screw the linear rails to the frame, I used M5 screws with a 25mm length and I doubled up the washers to make sure I have clearance between the linear rail and the flat aluminum extrusion. So here I'm using M6 T-slot nuts and M6 bolts to hold down a piece of scrap where initially this is just to square out my guides to the x-axis of the machine.
This build was a lot cheaper going this route than going to a full aluminum table. If you're curious, let me know in the comments on what you thought on this build. I've put links in the description. However, I didn't get a chance to square up or tram my spindle to the new table. I do plan on making a video on that, so stay tuned. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on that notification bell to get notified on the latest content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Thank you.